Okay, so yeah, reading of the IELTS. It is the second module you will be doing on the test day. And uh, academic and journal candidate, they have different kind of the reading patterns, right? If you are a journal uh, candidate, you will be having a reading. The first two passages, they will be further split into three or two passages, uh, two, um, you can say paragraph further, right? But if you are academic one, so all the three passages, they are the lengthy uh, passages having 900 to 1000 words in uh, each passage, right? And the content is different, like the academic reading, it's more of the uh, academic context of the things and the journal one, it can also be taken from the newspaper, from the advertisement, for, from the no notice boards holding, and any such content can be there, right? It's a kind of pamphlet information can be there as your reading passage as well in the general passage one and passage two. I'm not talking about the passage third. Passage third is all same as like the academic reading, bit tricky, bit academic uh, uh, kind of the uh, language will be used in the passage three of the reading, right? Timing is same, uh, that is 60 minutes. That means one hour will be given to you to do the reading. There won't be any extra minute, any extra second to transfer your answer from your uh, question uh, booklet to the answer sheet as like in the listening, they give the extra minute. They, this is not the case with the reading. You're doing the reading, you need to transfer the answer side by side only. You don't have extra time, so don't feel like I'll be transferring later on. You are done with maybe you can do passage wise, like one passage done, okay, transfer all the answers. Or maybe the best thing you can do question wise. Like I'm done with the question, write the answer there and then only. No extra time will be given to you, right? And um, the examiner, I mean, this, uh, obviously the test people, they prefer you to spend 20 minutes on each passage. So one hour is the total time that is 60 minutes. So this, they just like to spend 20 minutes on each passage by, uh, from you. But again, this is now your management, how well you are doing in passage one, two, and three. Like normally, say general say academic the passage one and two will be um, like this is a journal scenario right that they will be easy as compared to the passage third right general this is true for sure 100 percent. the passage one and two they are easy as compared to the passage third but academic it is like it is the common um, like scenario which is observed that passage one and two it is easy as compared to the passage third so use your time wisely maybe you are using 15 minutes each on the passage one and two then reaching to the passage three you are utilizing all the 20 minutes and saving few minutes those few minutes you can utilize on any question you are not sure about any question you left out because you are working by the watch right by the watch means 15 minutes so you're not spending any one more second minute or second on that uh, passage that means you are moving simultaneously so maybe there are a few questions that might left that you don't get chance to solve them out and go back come back and um, work on those questions right 15 15 20 or 25 and then remaining time utilize wisely or just keep it to 20 20 20 minutes exactly but yes then make sure that whatever passes you are done with in 20 minutes you are going through all the question because you won't be having any chance to come back to that question right keeping it okay anybody's mic is up do you mind turn it off Sarad, Sarad, your mic is up. Can you please mute your mic, Sarad? Because I can hear the um, conversation you are having. And kindly keep it that way. Wherever I. Okay, wherever I. We're talking, talking about the time, right? So it's like 20, 20 minutes you need to spend on each passage if you are going uh the, by this strategy then just make sure yeah i muted yours i muted you you were not mute i muted you so that's the thing all right so now okay welcome yeah and uh, moving on okay so there is no negative marking Keep in mind that there is no negative marking. So you are un uh, answering any question. 
So either it's right or wrong, you will be either getting one mark for being right or zero mark for being wrong. So there is no negative marking. So there is no fun for leaving any question unanswered or any blank uh, or any blank empty. So it's like just write whatever you feel, make your best guess if you're not getting any answer for that question. So whatever word, whatever alphabet, whatever uh, the way uh, the, the answer need to be, you feel like this could be the possible answer, just write it up there, right? Or maybe this is also one strategy you can work on, like spending by minutes. Like one question, I'm spending one minute on the same. Then second, one minute. Every question you are giving one minute. Or maybe there are few questions where they are difficult and you're feeling like, no, this is not very easy. You're spending 1.5 minute on those questions. But yes, this is like if you are practicing at least for one and a half week with any time, given time strategy, then only you can fix on that strategy. Otherwise, you are just running out of time in any case. And that is the worst case scenario if you are running out of time before reaching to the 40th question, right? It's very necessary to attempt each and every question because you never know out of 13 question, uh, you know, out of 12 question in the third passage, there are five questions which were quite easy, but you didn't get a chance to even reach to those questions just because you just run out of time. So that's very important to uh, be ready with the time management strategy and not losing mass just because you don't have time to even go to that questions, right? And if you are appearing for the computer-based exam, you can highlight any piece of the information you feel this is important. What sort of information are important in the reading? Like any names given, like any nouns given. You see, if somebody's name is given, some place name is given, some date is mentioned, right? A name, a place, a date, an organization, right? Such are the key words you can say in the reading. I am finding for the question number five and there I just encountered a word written uh, and that's a name. That's the name of the government uh, strategy which they are about to implement, right? So just underline that in case of a paper and pen based test and always use a pencil while you are uh, doing this reading and listening and writing as well. And if you are appearing for the computer-based exam, so you can highlight that area. So just highlight that name, right? So these nouns, which uh, you can find while even finding some other question, the underlining or the highlighting uh, strategies, they can help you to locate the, that piece of information instantly saving time when any question is related to those particular nouns given. Right. I hope you understand. There is a name strategy. So maybe there is a question number eight, which actually based on that strategy. Right. So if you have highlighted that information or you have underlined that information. So when you read the question, your mind will promptly go to that particular underlined part uh, uh, in the reading or highlighted part in the reading. Okay. Now this is the information. It will save your time. Right. And that's how you can save time and you can quickly find your answer in that particular area because you know that wherever there, wherever you find the key uh, word, key phrase, key information in the passage, there is always the answer to any specific question. Right. So if I having the keywords in, in that in that uh, particular area, so I have to read a sentence before and after that's what we call the scanning right before and after and we get our answer easily saving much time. So this is the uh, help of the underlining the statements or highlighting the statement or phrases or words in the reading, but don't do it like uh, just uh, not by not, uh, you know, paying any attention to. So if you are highlighting all the things in the reading, ultimately, again, the uh, benefit from that will be zero. Same goes to if you're underlining each and every piece of the information given in the reading, feeling that it's important, it is also important, it is also important. Ultimately, you won't be having any benefit from that underlining technique. So just be sure if you are practicing with the different sort of the reading, ultimately this will give you an idea what kind of information normally uh, seems like important one, a question can be based on it, right? So that, that technique also you can learn with the practice only. Right, so there are the type of the question on the screen. So true, false, not given question. And then comes the yes, no, not given question. So there is a difference in both question category, true, false, and not given. First of all, the format is different. So you are not about to uh, write the same way answer. If the question says true, false, not given, and you're giving answer in uh, yes, uh, and if there is a statement and you are writing yes, 
and ultimately you won't be getting any marks because the answer format is not fulfilled it's very important in which format answer is asked asked by the uh, reading only that format will be uh, uh taken into account uh, and you will be getting mark other than that you won't be getting mark right and uh, what what is the another difference the true false statement they always stand for like writer's claim like writer claim is like if something is given a statement is given and that statements uh, that statement is uh, in accordance with the writer claims then that uh, statement is true if it's contradictory it will be false and if there is no such information discussed then it will be not given but the yes no not given statements they are after facts in the reading right so they have mentioned in the year 1952 so around 72 um, like 72000 people died of the plague right so there is a, some factual information fact and figures are given so yes no statement they more based on facts and figure and you have to go after the facts and figure in the reading while you are looking for the answer in case of true false not given you are more after writer claims like the given statement is it same as per the writer claims that mean whatever writer have mentioned in the passage that is true it's opposite it's false it's not there is no such information it's going to be not given right this is the difference multiple choice we know that there are four option or three option given and you have to select which option is correct while doing mcq always take care take out any word from each option uh, which is acting as a keynote right definitely there is one information which act as a keynote and then start looking for an answer just keeping those keywords in mind whenever you you get that by skimming you get an area where the answer is lying around just when you scanning up there look for any paraphrasing of the keynote you have just uh, in have you have in your mind from the options given so there are three options so there might be three keywords you have taken now wherever you are reading for that question you know that this is the area where i will get my answer now look any word is paraphrasing of the option given in the uh like the words given in the options so if you get that so there is a probability that is going to be your right option right this is how you can also find the answer in case you are not getting it and you are not understanding the statement properly so just look for the paraphrasing as well because answers in the reading and the listening they always given in the paraphrased way there is no other way they are mentioning answers right matching task like um, they will be given three names the reading we are just doing now it is of same category like three names are given and after that there are eight statements given so i have to i mean there we have to match each statement which the with uh, with the person who mentioned that or who experimented that or who declared that now like, this is the thing that will happen right so it's like we have now how we can find out this question we cannot uh, read the statement and start finding it in the whole passage it will uh, waste our time what we can do we should pick the name of the person right go to the reading see where the name of the person is wherever we get the name of the person there we are reading it what he has said what she has said experimented or declared right now you got some understanding like this is the opinion or view point of this person go now to the eighth given statement as question and see out of that which statement is equals to that statement what you have just read under the name of that person it will save your time maybe the statement third one the third statement it is of the person number 1 otherwise you just wasting your time reading whole statements again and again you are just reading all the paragraph so how can you reduce the time and you can find the accurate option just go after the name of the person right matching task classification task they both need to be done in the same manner gap filling activity that we call fill ups sometime there are uh, the gaps with the words given they just give number of words there in a box and they tell you okay find out which word is the right option and you can pick only one word right now what happen you have to again go to the passage look which word can be the right fit and always there will be a synonym given in that box then according to that word you think that this is the word which is going to be the uh, answer for the blank come to the box given with the option match what is the synonym of this word 
from the box only you can pick up your answer you cannot pick the word straight from the reading and fit it into the gap if the options are given with the filling in the blanks if there are no option given then you can only uh, pick up the word from the passage itself as it is and you are filling that gap writing that answer sentence completion again uh, you cannot uh, find the sentence uh, you know sentence by sentence always read the paragraph because every time whenever there is a sentence completion task the reading will be given in paragraphs so just read a paragraph go to the option sentence see which sentence is from which one and how you can complete the given option and then uh, just write your answer short answer question there you have to write the answer in one or two or three words right chart label or diagram completion you know that by the name you know that there is some information given in the diagram some is missing so just locate where is the diagram description in the passage given and find your answers right so headings headings is like a b c d e f the paras are given the paragraphs are given you have to find which heading is suitable for which paragraph right like this like overall passage has one heading so there under comes eight paragraphs right now they have given option 10 option like which could be the possible heading for each paragraph given in the passage right for that we have to read the first and the last two sentences so that we can understand okay this paragraph is talking about the um, uh, about the increasing uh, population right and then maybe i'm not finding this way so what i can do i just quickly skim the whole paragraph to get the central idea of the paragraph and then i'm going to the option matching what statement is equals to the central idea of that paragraph given and then do you are marking that option as the heading of that paragraph right so these are the different categories of the uh, question types right so it's like definitely sometimes there are words in the reading we don't understand or we don't know the meaning of but here this is the one thing that you don't have to translate the whole meaning from the top to bottom right the task here to find the questions to the answer um, i mean answers to the question given right so this is uh, no big deal if i'm not understanding any question right or uh, any word in the reading the more important is you have to locate the area where your answer can be of any particular question that you can do by skimming like picking up any keyword from the question go to the passage skim it up just run your eyes through the text Uh, through the text and see where you are getting that particular piece of information so wherever you getting that particular piece of information there you need to read one sentence before one sentence after that that we call scanning and that's how you can save time find the answer more easily and more accurately right so even if i'm not understanding few words in the reading it's it's fair enough it's it's fine it's like you can always understand the uh, meaning of the whole sentence in which that word could be mentioned right and you can just uh, think of okay now this is the possible uh, meaning of the word as per the passage because that give us an idea of the meaning right so that's how you can work with the readings and even if you're not understanding doesn't doesn't uh, don't worry much about that but yes again it should, it is important that you understand the idea of that sentence maybe i'm not understanding the word but i should be understanding the idea and also if that word is particular going to be your answer then maybe look for the details written uh, beside that word and go to the question and find any word which is written and you know the meaning of that word so that you can make sure that okay this is the this is my answer whether you don't know the meaning but this word or this particular option is my answer right and uh, and 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 yes it's possible that uh, if you can if how you can answer the question you can answer the question uh, by without reading how by using skimming and scanning right skimming that mean maybe i'm just uh, going through the text for the first two three lines i'm not understanding the meaning because my question is not lying there i'm not getting my key note there so there is no fun of understanding those three sentences now just keep moving four sentence okay that is my keynote now i have to understand the meaning of a sentence be written before that word a sentence written after that word or maybe the sentence in which that word is written so three sentences yes now i have to understand the meaning now just skim out the meaning okay understand what is the meaning and according to that now this is my option i'm marking this option right so skimming and scanning 
two important factors in the reading if you can understand these techniques you can implement them well you won't be running out of time and you will definitely finding more answers uh, more accurate answers right now let's try with the the everything we discussed here with one of the passage we are doing right all right so let's practice here let me share the screen again and this time with the questions okay so right now on the screen you can see a passage it says the history of the steam engine right so here are the question number 1 to 7 i'll tell you how we are going to do these ones but uh, first let me adjust them on one screen just a moment all right it's all good so you see here it says question number 1 to 7 match each statement with the correct person from a to d now these are the person names classification matching as we just discussed a b c d these are the seven uh, statements right so uh, now what you doing you are just going after the name of the person and see which statement is matching with which person name and you are marking the uh, alphabet of that person name as an answer to the Uh, in the given blank like suppose the question number 1 his invention was the first to use moving parts now maybe it is with the d that charles has said the same thing right and in that case you will be marking here d as the answer right i hope everyone understand how to attempt this question uh, say yes. yes or no yes yes sir yes yeah. all right very good now start doing it and uh, a little doubt small doubt yes yes uh, ma'am uh, regarding the like matching the statements like more than one option can be an answer for any statement like, yeah that that what i told you like when suppose it it has written that uh, you can use any option more than once so most probably in that case is this this is true right and here you can see there are seven statement and four names yeah. so again this is again true for this case as well because this is not possible that i'm not repeating any option it is definitely otherwise there will be only four questions if i'm not repeating so definitely here you are repeating the obviously yeah. the alphabets again and again maybe a stands for three statements b for two d for again four so it's like that right right thank you all right so just start with the practice and kindly send the answers to me only let me do that for you good afternoon sheetal how are you good afternoon sorry yeah. all right no 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 yeah. it's okay okay now you guys can send my message to yeah. me only when you done finding all the seven answers write the options and then only click enter do not send the answers one by one because then it becomes really difficult to understand the answers as you can see there are 15 students so if you are all sending 15 times the seven answers separately so you see how, uh, how much it will be difficult to understand so just go with all the seven question type them in the sequence and then send or then click enter right
Nav Kiran, you just entered into the class, right? Yes, I am. So Can we you... are practicing the reading module. Mm -hmm. And this is right now everyone is doing question number one to seven. So you can start with them so that you can continue further with everyone else here, right? Yeah, thank you. So yeah, these are the option A, B, C, D, and you have to match each statement with the correct person. That's the question, right? Yeah, okay. All right, all good. Uh, you can keep yourself mute because the background noise will disturb others. <laughs> Alka, can you please turn the mic off? So Alka, this is reading we are doing, right? As you just entered now. So these are the question in front of you, one to seven question number that you have to solve. You have to match the person, each person with the statement mentioned. That's the question, right? Because uh, you just entered now, we already discussed about the reading. So you can start from your. I received the answer from one student, that's Ali. And normally the first time he sent the answers. All right, let me check the answers. Give me a moment. Okay. Okay, you cannot see the whole paragraph. Okay, now you can see it is showing screen. And how is it now? I think Alka, you are able to see it now if you can just uh, tell me. Yeah, all right, all good. Because I just paused the screen, so that's why maybe. All right, and coming back to the answers here.
Ali, your answer number one is right. Two is wrong. Three is wrong. Fourth is wrong. Fifth is right. Sixth is right. Seventh is right. And uh, go after the answers you couldn't find, which is second, third, and fourth. Simran, the first, second, third, fourth. Is it going to be better? If fifth, we... sixth, and seventh answer is right. Who is saying something? Yeah, I was saying, is that going to be better maybe idea to just text them back? <laughs> then we can... Okay, so it's like disturbing. Fine, sure, sure. I'll do that. I'll do that. Sure, sure. Thank you for letting me know. I'll just keep myself mute as well and I'll just reply back by, ch by chat message. Uh, guys, you're taking too long. It, these are only seven questions. And uh, I just received answer from four students till now. So just be quick with your answers, please. And I'm replying back at the message only with your answers.
Guys, kindly check your mic once, and uh, if anybody mic is not turned off, uh, kindly do that, please. Sorry, ma'am. No, it's okay. But just check your mics and ke keep them off because I guess we just talking on the chat, so there's no need to turn it off. Yes, Abdul, I mean one to four. One, two, four. All right, so I guess this is enough time given to you all for sending your answers. Fine, okay. The answer I received are from Paul. So your second answer is wrong, Paul, and um, fourth is wrong. Rest all are correct. There is no 20 minutes to this particular section uh, of the question. The 20 minutes are given to all question. I mean the whole passage. So this is passage one. It is having question one to 13. The passage two, it will be having uh, questions uh, from 14 to 28. The next one, it will be having from 29 to 40. So it's like that, right? And um, so that's why you need to uh, take care of the time and tie your answers, second wrong, fourth wrong, sixth wrong, seventh wrong. And Shan, all correct, Alka, second wrong, fourth wrong, sixth, seventh and I mean, fifth, sixth, and seventh wrong. So it's first and third, which is right. Ali, four is right now. Yeah, this is the answer. This is the answer. All right, so anybody wanna send the answer, send it right now, because I'm just saying the answer after that. So you won't be get chance to find them then. And yeah, Sheetal third is right now. All right, and I think I have answered everyone. Yeah, not used to. Yeah, I, I, I know that this is sometimes difficult to practicing online, but yeah, because this is the only thing possible nowadays. <sighs> yes, but that's okay. You can uh, take a screenshot of the 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 screen I'm sharing with you. 
Maybe you can increase the font size. You can highlight the things. That's what you can do if you are taking a screenshot. Okay, so here we go with the answers. Okay, Zarish, your answer for third and seven. Mm -hmm. Seven is right, but third is wrong. Okay, so the first answer is B. And here you can see that uh, uh, he increased efficiency by setting a moving piston inside a cylinder. So his invention was the first to use moving parts, right? And the minor friend, it has it was not having any moving parts. His invention allowed the second one, which is uh, D, Charles A. Persons. It says Persons steam turbine ran turbo generators that supplied electricity. Thank you, Ali. So this is your right, and this is about Charles, and we have to read it out. And here it is uh, mentioned that that it has that steam engine they just use uh, turbine run turbo generators that supply electricity then his invention was the single biggest step in development which is c uh, here it is james watt and it says what brought about the most important improvement in steam engine design so that's the sentence where you can get the answer from and here it is what and uh, uh, most important improvement in steam engine design. Mm -hmm. Most achievement, most, yeah. And uh, he continued to improve and made three significant um, uh, additions. He did that. One thing, device could control that so engine. He made the engine double acting, uh, allowing steam to enter alternatively on either side of the piston. This allowed the engine to work rapidly and deliver this, that, that most important. He attached a flywheel to engine allow the engine to run more smoothly. So this is like, this is his invention that uh, was the single biggest step in development. And this is the paragraph, two paragraphs. You can run, uh, read them and get your answer up here. The fourth one is A, which is Thomas. Severy minor friend was designed to pump water out of coal mines and consisted of a simple boiler. His invention was a simple solution to an industrial problem right and uh, what you where you are marking now fine this is a then fifth is again c his invention was the first continuous power source and uh, fifth one is c james uh what like his uh, and the answer came from the sentence what's machine could work constantly what's machine could work constantly so there the answer came from the sentence all right then sixth one is b his invention first used to method people still use now and where the sentence the answer came from the sentence new common set a moving piston inside a cylinder a technique still in use today so his invention first used a method people still use now so that's go with the b right thomas new common yes thank you very much and seventh, his invention allowed a much greater degree of control. It is with C, uh, James Watt. And it says, Watt introduced the centrifugal governor, a device that could control steam output and engine speed. Right? So a lot of much greater degree of control. So it he introduced a centrifugal governor, a device that could control steam output and engine uh, speed. So these are the answers for one, two, seven question number. So now moving on with the next set of the question from the same paragraph are here. And it is a flow chart, right? So it says question number eight to 12. I'm just deleting this, right? Let me adjust it a bit. Yeah, so eight to 12. And this is a flow chart. We have to complete the flow chart now. And we cannot write more, no more than three words. That means we cannot write more than three words as our answer. Our answer can be one, two, or max three words. And we cannot write any uh, numerical here. So words only. I'm just deleting the instruction sentence because we need the questions up there. 
All right, so eight to 12 questions are on screen right now, right? And here we go. So this is like eight one, the minor friend used condensed team two, and this is a blank, right? Where you have fill no more than three word as an answer, which sucked water from mines, then it flowed to the next step, where this is the question, next step, next step, and last step. So this is how you will be answering. So this is a flow chart. Yeah, all good. All right, so now just do that. I'm muting myself. Find all the answers. This is right, Elka. Find all the answers, type them once, and then, then click enter. This is right, but uh, you have written one extra word, just that.
you have to uh, find out where this minor friend is written where it is mentioning that it used condensed steam right you maybe you're not finding it in one sentence but maybe in a set of three four five sentences right and see that the minor friend used condensed steam to what right which sucked water from mine so there will be an answer of one two three words in here that you're going to fit and then this is a flow chart you know one thing is flowing to the another so then sentence by sentence you have to fill the missing information you get that so this is how you will be doing this question answer me here that you get it yes okay again guys answer and answer one by one रामदेव <laughs> Priya, so yeah, thank you. And uh, you need to keep the mic mute. Everyone is doing the reading, yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is reading class going on. Nan, you can start practicing here with us from the question I mentioned here. Okay, sure. Eight to twelve. Mm -hmm. This is sort of a flow chart. You have to find the options 
and you can use uh, three words, max three words to fill these blanks. And kindly keep the mic mute because we able to hear you and it goes to everyone in the group, right? Now you can turn off the video, it's okay. The one you send Alka after everyone, uh, after all the other answer, it's not right, right? And uh, Ali. Ali, 11, 12, not right. No, it is not uh, Alka and Alima have got your answers. Uh, Ali, 10th is the later one. And uh, Ali, my, I, I did, okay, I got your answer. Sorry, I didn't saw them. And uh, first three are right. And uh, 11, 12, not right. Not right, Alka, the one you said. Oh, yeah, now it's right, Alka, 11th. So quickly, guys, find out what three words or one, one or two or three words can be the right answer here. And then the next step, it followed to this sentence. And according to this sentence, what words you can fix up here? Then 10, then 11, and then 12. And remember that, always pick the words wisely. If you're adding the word which is already there in the statement, I will say your answer is wrong. That same go with the computer because computer will even mark the answer wrong. Mm. Yeah, Aleem, that's what I told you, told you, yeah? No, 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 it's 11 as well. 11 and 12, Aleem. Uh -huh. No, Sheet, no, Alka, no. And Sheetal, eight and nine is fine. 
there is an issue with okay. the 10th and 11 is not right okay now kiran nine is fine yeah and 12th is fine too that's it 11 is not yeah. right okay so work look for around fastly guys you're taking too much time yeah okay that's right but there is still an extra word you are putting up there shan eight wrong nine wrong 11 12 wrong look carefully carefully and let me find the places where the answers are nine is wrong paul 12 is wrong but there is a spelling error yeah oh that's sad and who will then point out the reading text early i'm sure but i have to leave now <laughs> you'll be missed, you will be missed dearly by me <laughs> thank you for that i'll just join you tomorrow <laughs> yeah thank sure you. why bye. not the work is important too yeah bye bye take care i guess Selim can do the work for me <laughs> that become really handy check out was oh yeah this is right but yeah this is fine i'll just let you know okay you are done with the answers yeah good priya uh ninth is fine eighth is not uh yeah tenth is fine but why you have added that word before the answer yes salim i'm talking about that <laughs> yeah i'm talking about that yeah too all right thank you okay so i'll be giving you just another three minutes i mean two minutes no it's 24 already let's say two minutes send your answers quickly right whatever you find wrong just maybe look around the right answers and you haven't sent the answers just quickly send your answers and that's it and after that we will be discussing the questions here no that's not right Sheetal. let me find the
Okay, so it's 326, already two minutes passed. So the answers I received later was from Paul and that is not right for uh, 9 and 12. Navkiran, yeah, that's right for the 11. And Alka, your question, okay. Sure, reading trust in online for my asking to I'm sure. So, so kind of homework thing, right? Um, I'll see. Uh, I'll see towards it because uh, this will again uh, need um, united response. Otherwise, uh, it will be come. Otherwise, it will be wasting other students' time in the class. But yes, I can. We will talk about it later. Yeah. Okay. Let's coming back to the okay. Priya, the tenth is fine, but not the eleven one. And uh, coming back to the questions here. So the eighth one, the miner friend used condensed steam to dash which sucked water from mines. So this is about miner friend, this passage, right? So it is called distilled and condensed the steam inside to form a vacuum, right? So here it is to form a vacuum. Our answer number one. Right, yes, that's right, Liam. Then design improved in the next paragraph. The design improved and he increased efficiency. That's the increased efficiency. That means when you read the sentence, it did say new common increased efficiency using a piston and cylinder instead of an open boiler. So increased efficiency is the word. And here we are not picking up two, we just picking up form of vacuum because we can write only three. Uh, uh, three words, yeah. Yes, tenth is right, and that's seventeen sixty nine, which will direct to uh, direct us to this paragraph. And here it is: separating heating and cooling processes meant no dash between power strokes, right? So now you see you have to understand this thing. If the steam, we have to read this actually whole thing. If the steam were condensed separately from the cylinder, the cylinder could always be kept ho hot. That's here he introduced the design of. Uh, steam engine that had separate condenser. You have to read the whole things and then you can sense the kept heating and cooling processes separate. That's what they're talking about. Meant that what it means that it can work constantly without any long pause. So here it is meant no, no is already given. So you are not picking without, you are not picking any, you just picking long pause. Right, so here we will be writing long pause between power stroke at each um, uh, cycle to reheat the cylinder. And as highlighted by Aline, that word separating, separate. So you can go and you can check around 1769 where this word is given. So this words are clearly mentioned it called cooling process, heating. Yeah, then further development become easier to dash through the use of flywheel. Right. So, of course, we're going to the further development. And of course, this is in the next paragraph. This is the hint they are already giving. And uh, the 11th answer is power machinery. So here, when we are just looking uh, to this question, flywheel through the user, become easier to dash, become easier to, uh, what is the answer? Power machinery. Yeah. Become easier to power machinery through the use of the flywheel. There need to be one more word with it. Fly will allow the engine to run more smoothly by creating a more constant load and they convert the conventional back and forth power stroke into a circular motion that can be adapted more readily to power machinery. So it became easier to, uh, two is already given. Oh yeah, so we cannot pick up any more word because two is already given and we can only write power machinery. They become easier to power machinery through the use of the flywheel, right? 19th century so just go towards the 19th century where steam power dash for use in various means of transport successfully adapted so here this is 1829 this is what they are talking about uh, the 19th century right so steam power successfully adapted to power boats in 1802 and railways in 1829 so they both are the 19th century thing so they are also the means of the transport as well the power boats, the railways. So this is our word that the use of steam power successfully adapted for use in various means of transport. Right. So thank you very much. And this is the. Okay. These are the answers, right? 
so you have to see after the question you have to understand that i am looking for a piece of information that i picked up from the question into the reading right so wherever i'm getting that piece of information your answer 100 percent sure your answer is somewhere around it's just that you need to correlate the things you need to look into the paraphrasing synonym of the word in the question in the reading because you see as i usually tell you guys because everything is in front of you there is nothing like that in the reading that you are not uh, able to look something because whatever is asked the answers are there in front of you right it's just that how well you can understand the paraphrasing all right so we will be doing few more questions right uh, let me stop it for a while right few more questions we will be doing uh, not the entire passes but yeah this time i'll be picking up something more related to the general one like how the general uh, um, reading will be the first passage probably sort of the first passage so the students who just want to uh, stick to the academic practice only they can leave the session but yes it is not bad to practice because this will polish your technique to find the answers, right? So just give me two minutes. We won't be doing all the 13 questions because we don't have that much time. But yeah, whatever we can, definitely we will be doing that. So here are the again. This is again kind of a flow chart, but this time uh, more in a table form. Um, but I can't show you like, okay, just a moment. Yeah, just a moment, just a moment. Bear with me, I'm just showing you the screen in another one minute. So here we go with the Paul Wickens, right? And this is the reading paper for that. All right, I'll make you understand. This is a kind of table. Uh, so uh, actually the first part of the table we already did uh, in the previous class and the later part of the reading. So that's what we have not did, I guess. I'm not sure about if anybody just remember this thing or not. This is the passage. Right, let me share it again so right now on the screen you can see the passage let me adjust it a bit so that i can understand well yeah right now you can see just a moment so this is about a game so some students they have done this before with me we will be doing the blanks right now, not the table. Right. So you see here, these are the question number 8 to 13. And it's about the passage has 10 paragraphs labeled A to J. So these are the passages A to J. And let me increase the font size a bit. Yeah, this is fine. So it says which paragraph contained the following information we got question number eight nine and 10 11 and 13 so here are the questions i'm deleting this sentence as well all right so you have to find out which paragraph contained the which information yes this is from Evelyn. yeah this is true so read the sentence look around into the paragraphs which paragraph contain the following information what is the best strategy here that you are reading the paragraph a after that you're reading the sentences given here so any sentence which is already uh, which you can find from the paragraph a mark paragraph a for that particular uh, sentence and uh, then go to paragraph b read that out right so this way you will be doing all these questions and uh, this is from general task and the student who did it or the student who just uh, 
want to practice only the academic one maybe they can leave but yes again this is again the same nothing uh different than the uh academic the paragraph itself so just start finding the answers here quickly so it's about entropy which is a game 20 year old idea eventually became a money spinner so paragraph a go to option c if any option is from paragraph a market b c d and there are many paragraphs so don't waste your time on one paragraph much maybe the answers are in later paragraphs maybe you never know so just go with that flow And just a quick question as we can see there's only 8 to 13 but a to j topics there so that means the same uh, sentences can be in a couple of paragraphs no, no no it's not like the same sentence because this is never the case in the reading uh, but you have to just understand okay it says a reference to an assumption paul wickens made right that proven proved to be incorrect now in any of one paragraph uh, there will be a uh, same discussion uh, written like regarding to an assumption that Paul Wickens made and it eventually proved incorrect. You have to see in out, out of the all paragraphs A to J, which paragraph has this reference mentioned. Suppose this is paragraph D. Yeah, we just write And your answer will be D. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Yes, that's right, Zarish. Uh, that's right, though. Quickly find. You see, this you have done, but still, you need to think. This is very tricky one. So the answers I'm receiving here. 
you have to do this way. So your answer for the first question. Uh, I guess it's fine. Let me see it. If that is the uh, for the first question, uh, you have written like I have to do it this way. It is not right. And Zarish, your first two answers are right. Kindly quickly send the answers. Okay, let me tell you the first one. Yalka, that's fine. Right. A reference to an assumption Paul Wickens made that proved to be incorrect. It's in the paragraph H. You can see after an anxious six week wait, the container arrived. I think it was a shock to my neighbor. There were 700 boxes with 300,000 sticks. I checked some samples and they were right size. I was overjoyed too soon. Over the next few days, I went through the other boxes and find found around half of them were not the exact size I needed. It's the first really big lesson I have learned. Never do a deal like this without going and checking it out first. So this is a assumption he made after opening few boxes that every box is fine, every other box is okay. And then, it proved wrong. So eighth answer, you know now. Ninth, she will fine. And um, tenth is wrong. Zarish, twelve, thirteen is right. And Aleem, your answers, I think I will, they are right. Nine, fine. Tenth wrong. Yeah, tenth is not fine. Alka right, Zarish right. Sean, yes, Sean, it's right. Go after eight now. Yes, Alim, that's right for tenth. Okay, I'm giving another two minutes to everyone. Send your answer, whatever you have found, found uh, find out. And then I'll be just discussing 9, 10, 11, 12, and 30. Just two minutes, send your answers.
one more minute no that's all right Lee. don't think like that okay alka that's not right for the answers you sent me just now they're not right I mean, how you have given okay the last one is right but not the 12th one 11 is fine zarish 10th is fine and, uh, 10th alka when you send the 10th one and maybe whenever you send i just said the answer at that time so i'll be just now said, telling with everyone else not sad it's fine okay now let's stop it here okay so the answers for these questions anybody wants to send right now can send through i sent 12 and 13 Amen. i just got that but they okay. are not right okay so okay fine so eighth we discussed it is in in this paragraph uh Okay, fine, finally, that's okay. Right, so here this is uh, in the H paragraph, right? We know that, that he made a mistake that uh, he just assumed that a few boxes are right, so every other box will be of right size and everything. But later he found out that, no, this is not right. So a reference to an assumption he made that proved to be incorrect. Then ninth reason why Paul Wickens thought he was qualified to start his own uh games company that's in the c paragraph right here so it is like he wrote to many big companies and they said to him thanks but no thanks kind of thing and then he thought he think he began to think seriously about going it alone as an independent right so okay i knew nothing about the uk to our market but i have a lot more journal business experience right than i did when i left college so that's the reason why he thought that he is qualified enough to start his own games company, right? Then comes the 10th one, the Paul Wickens aim regarding the market for entropy. And 10th is in paragraph J, right? Paul Wickens aim, that means aim and think logically. When it is about like something we are aiming and it's about like how it started, how this happened and that. So ultimately it need to be somewhere here that he took an aim in his mind that regarding the market for entropy that and the future i have just taken on someone to develop the commercial side of ted paul uh, says mr wickin if that works out he will take a stake in the big business i want entropy to be a global product aim for the entropy market but i don't necessarily see myself as an out and out businessman right i already have another couple of games i would like to uh, develop so his aim was to make it a global product and uh, that's the answer here all right Elka, i'm just receiving the answers yeah a description of a coincidence that proved fortune fortunate for paul wickens so when you are reading the paragraph there was an incident happened with him that he just uh, gifted those toys to few friends and uh, he turned out to be Hamley's employee. So I guess which paragraph having this one? Uh, it is I. I. Yeah, it is the I. You see here they have say they just offered few things to the mates who met him in the pub. And then they comes out to be Hamley's uh, uh, pro, like working people, right? And then they just um, rang their boss and they told him about these things and from where uh, Entropy took off. Like the game he just invented, developed, Entropy took off and the first batch of 2500 moved fast. So that was a description of a coincidence that proved fortunate for Paul Wickens that he just by chance, he just met few people he offered them the game and then they turned out to be Hamley's, like the famous toy company employee. They told their boss about the game and then just it took off from that, right? A reason why Paul Wickens begins to consider his future, 12th one, it's in B paragraph. Like um, 
uh, why he was thinking um, a reason why he began to consider his future because there was after leaving college he started uh, he thought uh, he was interested in starting his own company and having designed another couple of game by then uh, took the safety first route then he got a job in IT but later like there was uh, something happened and his friend and around many people lost the job so and uh, then a couple of them even started their own company so he was also evaluating the things for reevaluating the things for him like uh, uh, why he have why he haven't done that first or why if this happened to him as well like he had to leave his job or something so that has the reason why he began to consider his future again an explanation of the name paul wickin gave to him gave to his game it's in the a paragraph where it says um the story of how game designer Paul Wickin achieved success with the best-selling Entropy and I had the idea for what ended up as Entropy which by the way is a play on the word Entropy meaning chaos or disorganization. So there comes the name of the game and there is an explanation why he gave this game to the uh, name to the game in the A paragraph right. So that's the answers of the all paragraphs. If you it's, can list the ten, it was G, right? This double confirm. Uh, tenth one is J. Thank you. Tenth one's, one is J. Eleventh is I. Yeah, and here Paul we can aim regarding the market for entropy. So his was his aim was there was a sentence written that uh, I want entropy. So that's aim for entropy. I want entropy to be a global product. Right. So this is, but I don't necessarily see myself as an out and out business, but for entropy, he got this thing that he wanted to be a global product. All right, so I think it's all clear with everyone. All good. All right, so that's all for today, guys. If you have any question, you can ask me now. And we run this session from two to four. If anybody wants to attend the session every day, it's better to start off when we just start it off, like at two o'clock every, uh, every day, Monday to Friday, Melbourne time. And uh, if you just join later, so it's like you just missed on the few uh, initial things which are usually tip trick strategies and how to how we can do the modules. And after that, we keep the practice in the later part of the class. So this is like how we conduct it. And um, tomorrow we might be doing some other module. So that's like how we run the classes every day, five days a week, right? So any questions so far or is, is everything is good? Uh, if we have any plans for tomorrow, uh, like what module we are going to do tomorrow for our academic or general IELTS maybe. So see, the writing is the only difference and that comes to the writing task one, right? When you mm -hmm. have to actually think about whether I am, uh, I have to attend this class or not. Because mm -hmm. when it comes to the general task one, it is letter and general mm -hmm. and academic task one is a graph description. Yeah. So that class I divided in one day, one, mm -hmm. uh, one hour each, like one hour to the academic one to the general. But I certainly tell you guys on the same very day, like one, what, which one hour we will be devoting to the academic, preferably three to uh, two to three is the academic task one, three to four is the general task one. But other than that, all the four days, the module uh, you can attend both category of the student can attend the class because journal people and the academic people they do have the same writing essay they do have the same listenings and reading you can uh, observe now it is like you can both practice here so there is nothing like that if i'm doing only academic i won't be polishing up in the journal or i'm doing journal i won't be polishing up for the academic it's nothing like that so two passages one from journal one from academic Okay, uh, I was just, you know, uh, thinking of a timetable, if we have a timetable in routine, like if we are going to do a writing, uh, writing task today, like no, there is no timetable. The reason being, as I just discussed in the class, when we started off, like some students, they are not available on certain days. So if we fix the timetable, those students won't get any chance to practice those particular modules we, we just fixed on some day. 
so mm -hmm. that's why we keep shuffling the module so that any other day if they are coming they get their chance they get their share of practice for that module as well i hope okay. i hope you understand why this is like that uh completely understood that uh, yeah. and so sometimes we... students are not available on specific they say tuesday they have job work or something you know some other yeah. uh things so if i just kept reading on supposed tuesday so they won't be getting any chance uh entire in an entire yeah. month to go through the reading and this people yeah yeah so that's the reason we keep shuffling the modules and how about we practice uh, for say if right now i just you know felt pretty confused and uh, disturbed with the interruptions that uh, you know uh, during uh, practicing the reading test if we can do what the, sort of interruptions like uh, we were discussing the answers in between like discussing the the whole paragraph while we are still doing the test if we can do but the, the thing is all... i give I, it's like it's like uh, you have to first manage your time with the reading alka because the yeah. thing is that i am giving more than enough time to everyone yeah. to solve the questions right yeah. and this um, is the big thing uh, if if as a group like if in a group we uh, do this reading test say in a in a in a span of 10 minutes and then we'll discuss the answers it will be more sort of test conditions rather than discussing the questions immediately after the after the para or similar. yeah i got your thing but uh, you see uh, this is not quite possible because there are students who join when we are already 15 minutes into the reading there are students who join when we just I... about to finish the reading so it's mm -hmm. like this is the these are the free classes we are providing yeah there are there are no charges for that so mm -hmm. why we are just keeping it that way so that everyone can practice regardless of their uh, responsibility their time boundations everything so that's why this is like this and i hope everyone is good with that i i'm okay with it i have no problem uh, yeah. with it but it's just that you know uh, have having that feeling of being in a test and then attempting the questions it will give uh, a little here the thing is this is to our class only right so suppose yes. we are just uh, devoting 45 minutes to trick strategy and discussing problems and then we are practicing so it's just that if you can understand the strategy here the way we just discuss the answer later on then you should take out time from your own schedule later on and you should give yourself those particular that particular one hour sit there and see if these sessions are helping you out there in your personal practice right mm -hmm. so maybe you can just opt that technique and see if that working if you are just able enough because you know there are students even after giving 20 minutes they are not able to send the answers right this is okay. not today this is every day whenever we do so we just keep it that way more of a discussion uh, discussion type of class and it, okay. definitely individual practice uh, you can do that later and you can bring up your questions here got it got it absolutely understood all right lovely all right okay guys any questions so far all good um and this only this one is pretty fine hard to find answer it pretty simple this like this one <laughs> manish pina <laughs> yeah. you know that you know that shital we did this last day uh, last day when we practiced the reading <laughs> this uh, is the older one and even oh. alim was telling i was not able to get one answer that's not right that's not fair and it is okay you know that like you are improving everyone is improving yeah. out here so it's good it's good thing and uh, definitely yeah. Totally the simple. language is pretty yeah. simple, but it's like ah. The real trick is the number of the paragraphs here. Yeah. The real trick is the number of the paragraphs here. You know that's the case with the journal readings. Yeah. And uh, here you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten paragraphs. So real challenge yeah. lies there. Yeah, that you have to find five option out of ten paragraphs. So we keep yeah. you know going into the first one, and the answer are coming from the later part. That's what happening here. Yeah, the B and so C is similar, like likewise answer, but then you get the find the C answer. This. Mm hmm. Yeah. Exactly, but that's okay. Yeah. Uh, you know, one two yeah. answers you can uh, still do wrong and see achieve the required scores. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> All right, don't worry. Yeah, you will, you okay. will get over it with the practice only. Yes. All right. Okay. Okay. Thank so, you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you okay. very much. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. I guess that's all. 
Yeah. yeah, we are ending this session. Yeah, I'll be sure. seeing you tomorrow, the same time. That's two to four Melbourne yeah. time. All right. Yeah. Thank you yeah. all. Thank you Thank very you. much. Bye -bye. Yeah. Yeah. Bye bye. Yeah. Take care, guys. Take care. Yeah. Welcome, Alka. Welcome, Paul. Everyone, welcome. And and yeah. Bye bye. Take care. Stay safe. Yeah. Bye.